everybody welcome back so in today's video can someone explain to me why the pick me girls aren't like just naturally falling into the arms of these like whatever type podcast guys like the guys on the whatever podcast or guys like that like all these pick me broads out here with their nasally voices are not ending up with these dudes who clearly say they want a pick me girl and the pick me girls want a guy like this right like you want you want a, a guy who's an alpha male right or at least pretends to be uh except maybe the issue is then that alpha male is going to make you give up all your all your social notor like like pearl everybody belongs in the kitchen except for you pearl you know what i mean you meet an alpha male you're going to stop doing social media you know you're going to quit going on talk shows and just stay home and bake cookies i fucking doubt it because you know I see no good reason for you and Brian Atlas to not fucking be together. I, cutest couple of six and a halves I ever saw. Why aren't you guys just making this thing happen? Maybe it's because you're awful as shit and you don't believe your own. Brian wants to bang Instagram models and you want to have a career. And we're all out here just telling ourselves that shame on you for being hot and shame on you for having a career and shame on no, 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 no. Put your money where your mouth is, Pearl. You better slide in Brian Atlas's DMs. And Brian, so help me God, if she doesn't have a ring on it by the end of next week, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. You're all full of shit. Is he right or is he right? No, I've always, I've always thought about it because they always seem to have a group of women who agree with them, who knows exactly what they want, who would move heaven and hell for them, who will side and support them, who like they are always there. So why not just picking them and carrying on? Okay, just pick them and carry on. Okay, you don't even have to ask them. So why has it become a problem that all of us has to be dragged into this mess? The ones of us who are, have uh, many children, those of us who are doing OnlyFans, those of us who don't want to settle down, those of us who don't want children, those of us who are just minding our business, okay, that pays us. <clears throat> those of us who are just, you know, somewhere just living our best lives. Why are we being dragged into all of this? Please, the pick means they are there. They know what you want. They know what you like. Just go after them and leave us alone. <laughs> but I'm glad it's a man that is talking about it that is not a woman because usually when women talk about this it is just swept to the side okay I'm happy it's a grown man he looks like someone in his 40s talking about this so let's get into the stitches a lot of people had a lot to say about it so I'm going to share their opinions with you before we get into that please don't forget to hit the subscribe button Let's get to 50k by June. Now I'm look, it's looking like it's not going to happen, but please give me a little bit of hope. Okay. So if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video. Can someone explain to me why the pick me girls aren't like just naturally falling into the arms of these like whatever type podcast guys? It's because they're not a challenge. I got a lot of dudes in my family. And a lot of the things they brag about the most is putting women in their place. It's like their goal is to dominate and control. She wasn't cooking and cleaning and obeying me before, but then I put her in her place and I got her acting right. It's not a challenge if you're a pick me. If a dude is with a pick me, he can't claim that he did that because she was already like that when they met. But when he gets a woman who's a feminist and independent, he's able to say, hey, I, I put her in check, I changed her. Then it's like they feel good and they get props from their boys or whatever. Think about it, when women started to be more independent and move away from the traditional role, they started teaching these men how to put them back in their place, which is something our grandfathers and our great-grandfathers didn't have to do. Those women were already in their place. They were pick -me's already. I think it's hard for them to unlearn that mentality of dominate and control. So it's like these younger generations of men, they're not used to just women entering their life and acting right. They're mentally prepared to try to put them in their place. Like I said, they want to feel like they've conquered you. As much as men are always out here in the comment section of a pick me women saying, protect her at all costs, that's a queen right there. See, a lot of y'all women need to think like her. Notice these women are typically single. For all the men who act like, this is the kind of woman I'm looking for, how come they never look her way? These women should have a line of men. A harem of men, if you will, begging, pleading, hoping to be with them. But that's never the case because they only use you as an example. They want to be able to show women, look, we're not crazy. Other women 
think like this. L look at this woman right here. That's all they use you for. When they're looking for a mate, they're looking for somebody that has some standards, that has some values, that has good self-esteem. They don't want those women. They step over those women. Excuse me, excuse me. Step over those women to get to the ones who are like, I don't really think so. I don't like that. I want a man to, to pay all the bills. I want a man to do these things. They want to make other women change their mind and be like, look, look, just be like her and I'll pick you. But we don't want to be picked. We pick it ourselves. Listen, the reason a guy is going to pick to marry a girl like the bitch or the selfish girl as opposed to a pick me is because the pick me would have already given him everything that he will get in a marriage. What is the incentive? You would not sign a contract with a company that's already doing everything for you. Why sign the contract? So the pick me girl has already done everything. She's doing the wife duties. She's doing everything for him. She's moving countries for him. She's already his wifey. And as much as he might like her, what is the incentive to marry her? Whilst a girl who knows her worth and does what she needs to do and wants to do isn't doing that for random guys. She's building her own life. That's why every guy would rather marry her than the pick me girl natural okay no but can we talk about this one y'all because the answer is like math pick me women and these red pill type of males cancel one another out like pemdas see these alpha males don't actually want these ready to go pick me women which is why you'll notice them praise these kind of women for their work and effort but you never see them actually with them these kind of males want to take a woman who is not a pick me and ultimately turn her into their pick me Essentially, these kind of males want to take a butterfly and clip her wings. And pick me women want a man who is confident and can lead and is an alpha man. And the reality is these red pill podcasters aren't that kind of man. These red pill podcasters are led by the insecurities, not their confidence. The only place they're leading you to is a podcast mic and a table. So as much as they claim that they want each other, they don't actually want each other. You catch my drift. Why did I never realize in the age of the pick me girl, and even I can be pick me sometimes. We all can be, okay? Everyone has pick me tendencies. It just happens. It's societal at this point that we completely ignored the fact that there's a whole genre of men just like this. And no, it's not necessarily the gym cells, but those can intersect. Talking about the kind of guy who gives you the whole, I only date to marry and then you never see him again because you didn't sleep with him. You meet a guy and he's like, oh, I'm not like these other guys. I won't treat you like that. And then they do worse. They're like, tell me about your past. And you tell them about their, <laughs> you tell them about your past and they weaponize it against you. And then do you more dirty than the last one did or take notes. They take hints out of that playbook and they steal them and weaponize them against you to make you insecure. Honorable mention to men who go to the gym just to record themselves. Don't hate me for that one, okay? Because girls do it too, but I'm just saying, y'all are also a part of that demographic. Y'all should get married. I'd come to the wedding, a pick me girl and a pick me guy's wedding. That would be a shit show. It'd be like, who can outdo each other more? Best example of a pick me guy is, especially at a wedding, is the guy who put the vows in that were so viciously awful. He managed to unite an entire group of women and men over how disgusting it was because his mother was the officiator and his daughters were there. The one who belittles his girlfriend or wife publicly to to look cool and masculine that's a pick me man this is why pick me's never get picked now i think it's really important to define what a pick me is because i see this term being bandied about a lot and apply to situations which i necessarily do not think make somebody a pick me now in my opinion what makes someone a pick me a pick me is not a woman who desires companionship, a woman who desires marriage, a woman who wants to have a boyfriend, any of those things. I think that makes you a normal human being. That does not make you a pick me. In my opinion, what makes someone a pick me, in particular a woman in this scenario, is going about achieving that desire, so achieving companionship, getting with someone in all the wrong ways. Now, these wrong ways include exhibiting a lot of internalized misogyny. Please note this only works with men who have unhealthy ideas about women. So this wouldn't work with a healthy man who has healthy relationships with women. So in my opinion, what makes someone a pick me is the way they differentiate themselves from other girls. And this is a key part of their strategy is to show how different they are from other girls. You know, the whole, I'm not like the other girls kind of qualm. I'm very chill. I don't even like makeup. I don't even like hair extension. And it's not to say that this applies to girls who genuinely don't like that stuff like the girls who are genuinely not interested in makeup and hair extensions because there are girls who genuinely aren't interested in that kind of stuff. This is specifically for the girls who do this to get male validation and get that pat on the head um, from 
the man that they're interested in and get that kind of male approval. What the pick me doesn't understand in this specific scenario is that men, by and large, are not stupid. Men also, by and large, are actually very good at reading women. Men are very good at sussing out which type of woman has self-esteem, I'm talking about true self-esteem, and which type of woman doesn't. Now this applies across both genders. Somebody who has self-esteem is not someone who parrots back the same kind of sentiments to someone. Especially if those sentiments are speaking in a very discouraging way about them and their own gender. Both healthy and toxic men alike are able to see why a specific woman would do such a thing, try and differentiate herself from women, other women. Both toxic and healthy men that know that there's only one reason why you could be doing this and engaging in this kind of behavior. It's because you want to get picked. <laughs> AKA desperation, AKA I want this man by any means necessary. So if that means that I have to put myself down in the process, because that's essentially what you're doing, um, you're not separating yourself from your own gender. The idea that you can do that is a very underdeveloped idea. They kind of know you're doing that for one reason and one reason only. It's to get picked and desperation is never a cute look. So don't do it. <laughs> There's a reason why a lot of men don't go for the pick me pixies and I don't think the pick me pixies understand like a lot of y'all don't excite these men a lot of y'all are plain basic and boring and I know that that's like y'all's thing because like that's you're supposed to like make yourself not look like the other girls you're supposed to like not wear a bunch of makeup or you know try to look different than like the blank slate that white men want you to be blank slate for them to project their own ideas of what they think a woman should be wow this came out that came out that's a little that's a little suggestive there. I wouldn't put that past them. But you're just supposed to be like this blank slate for these men to project their idea of what an ideal woman is supposed to be onto. The thing is, and there are some pick me pixies that do get picked. Like, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few of them that do get picked. But for the ones that, like, don't understand why it's still so hard for them to, like, find a decent dude or find a dude that wants them, you gotta understand, they don't want you. They don't. These dudes don't want the trad wife, trad wife. They want the goth, scene, alt, feminist trad wife. And they want this because to them, it's going to look like the ultimate hallmark for their masculinity, that they tamed this wild, savage woman. That they're so great and golden of a guy that they were actually able to succeed in doing the unthinkable. Subjugating and pushing the wild feminist woman into the kitchen where they think she belongs. I've learned a lot from all these videos. So this is why they are not picked because they are easy. Okay. And a lot of men don't like the easy. They like the struggle. They like the, uh, uh, the challenge. And that's why they go after. So why are you complaining? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. The pick me's are there. They, they are willing and ready. They agree with you. They know what you want. They will, like, they are there to please you. You don't even have to ask. You know, whatever you want, they will do it. So why don't you just go after them? I noticed that a lot of people were making reference to Miss Pell, right? The lady who agrees with everything that men want. She knows exactly what men want. She tells women how to behave around men to get the best men. Okay. Women are not supposed to vote and so on and so forth. And yet somehow she's single. Women are not supposed to, you know, work and make money. Yet she has a huge platform. Okay. Making money. Hey, so sometimes it's just confusing when I come online and I see all of this going on because she says one thing, but she does the very opposite. A couple of days ago, I saw this video about um, Cardi B talking about, you know, uh, women should do this. And I'm thinking to myself, this lady is making a lot of money. And besides, she's been doing all these things for this man. And yet she was cheated on. He had a baby on her. And you're telling us to do like it doesn't even make sense. Okay, maybe I, that's why the uh, red pillars don't go after these uh, pick me women because they see, they can see right through them, and that's why they don't go after them. But I may be wrong because they are the epitome, the embodiment of the perfect women for these men. But they won't go after them. Just go after your choice. Go after your pick. They are there. <laughs> you won't even have to ask. They say, "Pearl, please marry me." She would run and marry all of them and be cooking and cleaning for them and doing exactly what they want her to do. 
But why is nobody choosing her? She's, she's their biggest supporter. Like, one of you should just marry her, you know, and then show us exactly what you are teaching us. So at least, you know, you lead by example. You teach by example. If, if you are, this is what you are going to do. One of you should just put, put a ring on that lady. Okay. Make, make her a wife and, and then just carry on and stop complaining because the women you want, they are there. Just go after them and leave us alone. But anywho, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section and I'll see you again with another video. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Bye.